hop in my guys it is your boy Ashley and today I am coming to you with our last game of the UBLN season 2 now I'll let you know there are a couple of gaps missing in my footage that would be one because I had I received a forfeit win from Arctic Levile and I gave a forfeit win to Darude. He tried to battle me a couple different times and it just was it was always my fault when it came down to it. So I did give Darude a forfeit win just because I knew that he wouldn't be able to play me due to his time zone in the rest of our games. And plus he just had my number very hard the first time. I, I think I would have had a hard time taking him down the second time. Definitely would have been possible, but I let that opportunity go by just being too busy and overbooking myself so that's all on me but today we are playing our last divisional round against my main man fireburner so this is a guy that's been in the ubln since season one absolutely love to battle this guy he always he always bring, like, like last week he brought specs sylveon with hyper beam which i thought was dope and he, he got the w he's actually looking to be possibly in playoff contention if he wins this game but i do want to win this one for pride's sake i do have i think two wins or three wins in this season it's been a really really rough season trying to commission and and battle and get all this stuff done but oh well i'm not going to do a team builder because i actually brought the exact same team that i did last time it's um ev light magneton Mega Low Punny with Ice Punch and Frustration and Work Up. I have Tailwind, Defog, Roost, and Foul Play on my Mandibuzz. My Gastrodon set is trash. It's like Toxic and Scald and Ice Beam and whatever. I have Specs Gengar with some good moves. Um, Energy Ball, Sludge Wave, and Shadow Ball as well as Trick. And then I have Choice Scarf Darmanitan with Flare Blitz, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and U-Turn. I'm fairly certain. So... This, this is a match that I, I was excited for. I, I brought the same exact team because last time, due to some misplays, I did lose that game. But I definitely think I could have won because I, I, I liked how my prep performed, in, in a sense. There's, there's a lot of times when I lose where I look at my prep and I'm like, okay, I definitely could have done better in prep. This really wasn't one of those times. I think my prep handled his team very well. And as you can see, he actually ended up bringing the same six mons that he brought last time. So no team changes whatsoever from both coaches. And... Hopefully, we can pull out a win here. So let's go ahead and play and get into it. He is going to lead Victini whilst I lead my Darmanitan. Now here, I wanted to try and predict and go for something, but I just U-turned because I could live a V-Create if he was Choice Scarf and I needed that information in my arsenal. The fact that he switches out tells me that he's not Choice Scarf. So I'm going to switch right out here into my Magneton as he is going to recover off that Earthquake damage. Now here, I am Analytic. So I do want to say this. I am Analytic and Men Speed. I thought I was min speed. I may have some speed investment, but basically the thing is, is I very much so expected this Milotic to outspeed me. Magneton's not a super fast Pokemon, so in my mind, it was a free Thunderbolt because due to my Calx, Thunderbolt with Analytic would definitely knock it out. But as you're going to see here, he actually underspeeds my Magneton and goes with the Mirror Coat. Now, because he... Because I expected to underspeed him, I didn't think Mirror Coat was going to... Like, I figured he would just have to go for a Scald or an Ice Beam. I did look, I mean, because I have Milotics in, in another league. So, I've been using it and looking over. And I know Mirror Coat definitely was an option, but I didn't think he would go for it because... I thought he would outspeed, but he didn't. So that was good prep on his part, underspeeding the Magneton and EVing to live. Um, and I'm very, very glad I did not Volt Switch there because something coming in would have died unless I went maybe, I don't know, pretty much everything would have died going in there. So that was really good prep on his part. But now the Milotic is down to 17 with the burn damage so i can go right here into my gengar and hit shadow ball he does have this persian out here sludge wave would have been nice but i didn't want to give him a free switch into the scissor since i got decimated by a sword dance scissor last game i'm just going to switch right out expecting the parting shot as it comes out so now i'm into my mandibuzz the parting shot doesn't mean anything because i have foul play and three support moves and he's going to go right out into a sylveon now i don't want to lose this yet i'm gonna go out into gastrodon actually here i had thought about going into my darmanitan or my gengar because they both take a specs hyper voice and and scare it out but the thing is is i didn't want to damage darmanitan because as, as the same with the last game it definitely is one of my bigger win cons and gengar is a very valuable asset for forcing forcing switches and everything plus if he is running specs hyper beam again like he did last week he can take out literally if, if he was running specs hyper beam he could click hyper beam on that turn and kill something anything that wants to come in right 
it would set him up susceptible to be a turn, but I, I he got in my head with that last week. So I just went ahead and went gas, uh, Gastrodon. It's not super important in this game. It doesn't really beat a whole hell of a lot on his team. And just kind of serves as a nice little sack to this Sylveon, which is Specs Hyper Voice due to the damage that he has done to my Gastrodon. So it's nice to know that he's locked in Specs Hyper Voice. I can go right here into Darmanitan and fire off a free Flare Blitz. He's going to go Victini. I didn't want to predict with the Earthquake, so I just went for the Flare Blitz. It still does 48%, which is very nice. Take a little bit of recoil, bounce right back out into Mandibuzz to take the V Create. So I know I can take one because the last time we played, this this pretty much this exact same scenario happened he is going to v create twice on my rocky helmet mandibuzz take himself down to about 19 percent with the special defense defense and speed drop so now i can go right out here into low punny and just fire off a frustration get rid of this thing i didn't want to i didn't want to risk working up and dying to a to something and i didn't think he would want to save this mon so i just brought this in to, to take it out here he's going to go into sylveon i know this doesn't kill but I didn't want to switch anything into a Hyper Voice, so I'm just going to sack off the Mega Low Punny here. I am packing Ice Punch, so a little bit helpful against the Shaman, but so are the Gengor and the Darmanitan, and they both can kind of handle the Milotic on their own. I'm just going to Shadow Ball and knock out the Sylveon here. Now, I don't, um, I did my Calyx based on Assault Vest. I knew he was Specs, but I just, I, I always get nervous that <laughs> the Calcs are wrong, so I calced it with Assault Vest as well, and that would have, I would have almost guaranteed knocked it out with a soul vest as well so that was a very safe shadow ball there i didn't want to lock myself into sludge wave even though that would be better for the major for the rest of his team because i as i said i'm just very very scared of this scissor so he's going to go here into shaman and i know i can take a seed flare i don't think he's going to go for earth power um and he does. He just goes for Seed Player. I used Shadow Ball. Take it down 70%. Now he is gonna knock me out here because he gets a, he gets the he gets the good rolls. But I am gonna disable his Seed Flare. So now, as far as I know, he doesn't really have any attacking moves. I'm gonna go right here into Darmanitan. Click Flare Blitz. And pretty much all it comes down to is how much damage I take from Recoil. I barely take any at all off of the Shaman, which is very nice. Here he is gonna go out into his Persian, trying to get off a Parting Shot. But I do outspeed Persian. I'm sorry, he fake outs first to get a little bit more chip because he knows how important this chip damage is. He needs me with these recoils and all this kind of stuff to get down to about 30 or 25%. It seems that would be the best, but here because my Lodic was so low earlier, I can easily take it out with the Flare Blitz, do very minimal damage. If it had been at a higher health, the recoil damage would have put me down a lot further. And at about 50%, he's not going to be able to knock me out with a Bullet Punch. It's only going to do, let's see, let's see... 26% and we are going to flare blitz and win the game zero to zero so very nice to end the season on a win especially one that was a mirror match essentially we we used the same we pretty much used the same teams he, he he switched up some things on his team I can't remember exactly what we talked about in post match but really really good game to fire burner it's been really cool to see him grow up because not grow up but like his first season was really really rough and his second season was infinitely better than his first season i, I, I like seeing players that i play with grow as battlers <laughs> definitely and he's done a great job i'm really happy to have won that win though just add another little little record and then add another little win onto the record i don't make playoffs i don't think he makes playoffs either unfortunately now i, I, I wouldn't have mind losing there because him making playoffs would have been really cool from last place last season to making playoffs would have been pretty lit but oh well you can't you can't stop the train once it's rolling that darmanitan came in and it cleaned up and did what it had to do basically that was the, that was the execution i learned from my mistakes last time didn't play around with bullet punch scissor tried to maintain my threats as long as possible and pulled out the w so it's been fun guys i've loved loved this season of the ublm i i don't think i will be in a season three if there is a season three just because it's been very very very, very stressful but a great time, a great time nonetheless, man. I hope y'all have been enjoying the battles and the content coming up. This will be the last Draft League video coming up in the year 2017. All of our other Draft League videos will start up in 2018. We have the IBA starting January 1st. We have the HBL starting sometime in January. We have the IBL starting late January. I'm very, very excited for the content coming up. And I hope y'all are too, man. Like, comment, subscribe, all the bullshit. You guys know how it goes. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.